The unique language of nature has been disrupted. What are the consequences? There is a concept called the wood wide web. Scientists use this term to describe the forest's world wide web. It not only distributes water and nutrients, but also helps plants exchange information. Before continuing, I strongly recommend you watch the documentary Nanoplastic – A Threat to Life. The film is based on the latest scientific research that will help you understand the scale of the threat and how to prevent a catastrophe. And now let's continue. Plants communicate in two main ways – chemically, by releasing specific molecules, and electrically, by sending electrical signals similar to nerve impulses in animals and humans. For example, when attacked by insects, a tree generates an electrical signal that triggers defense responses and through the roots can travel into the fungal network, reaching other trees. A similar effect was observed by scientists during a solar eclipse. The bioelectrical signals of trees began to synchronize, forming a single impulse. The first to respond were the old trees, as if they remembered similar phenomena and warned the younger ones. Thanks to these electrical signals, plants can coordinate their growth, warn each other of danger, adapt to stress collectively, and even store collective memory. And it is precisely this finely tuned system that micro and nanoplastics are now disrupting. Here is just one of the consequences. Due to prolonged exposure to micro and nanoplastics, plants produce oxygen less efficiently. Some of the planet's forest ecosystems, like the eastern Amazon rainforest, are already emitting more carbon dioxide than they produce oxygen.